it was uh, it was fun to get back out there, and there's nothing better than a shutout. How much did it help having caught in you a bunch of times, you know, the rehab stories while he was down there? Yeah, I think it helped. It, it, I think it took, actually took a little bit, uh, a couple innings for us to actually get on the same page. Uh, but then after that, we were rolling, and uh, like I said earlier, he was attacking, throwing a lot of strikes, and mi mixing his pitch as well. Could you see yourself becoming a little more his catcher in the future, you know, if you're staying up there? Oh, that's not up to me. Obviously, <laughs> <laughs> but knowing him well, does that feel like, you know, it helped in terms of communication? going forward maybe to help him. Yeah, anytime you catch any of these guys, really, it, it, it helps um, the more you catch them. Was the stuff on his hand from the last start ever a concern, the con topic of conversation? Sorry? Remember when the uh, stuff that was on his hand the last start, was that ever a topic of conversation? I haven't heard catching? one thing about it, no. Yeah. Yeah. They didn't mention it to me at all. How did he compare to what you saw from him last year in Scranton? Um, I think he was on top of the ball really well today, and uh, when he is, he has that little natural cut to his fastball. And uh, it's really hard. It really just bears down on those hitters. And uh, then mixing his, his curveball and his changeup, I mean, uh, he's almost unhittable sometimes. You got it at the end of it, but how satisfied are you guys overall with this home stand? Um, I just got here, but uh, I'm sure there's nothing better than two shutouts in one day. Um, it's not easy to win both games of a doubleheader, and um, it's a good, it's a good way to leave on.